dread doing homework? Do you steer clear when it's study time? You are definitely not alone. When it's time to sit down to do some work, we tend to roll our eyes, we find distractions, and we suddenly become really interested in tidying our rooms. It's a natural reaction. At some point, every one of us who has tried to get some work done will feel like it's the last thing in the world that we want to do. But what if I told you it doesn't have to be like this? What if I told you that there is a better way to do it that will not only help you study better, but more importantly, study less? Yes, study less. Studying it itself is a dull and boring chore. No one wants to spend more time studying than they need to. But what if we can create the conditions in your body and external environment to successfully learn and retain information better and faster? Learning effective study techniques can ensure that you are fully prepared for your tests, midterms, and exams. Because when you know what works, you can approach any project with confidence and can crush any test anxiety. The strategies that I'm about to share with you have improved not just my test scores, but my mood and my whole entire outlook towards studying. It has improved my life. So I hope you will also benefit from them and discover which type of studying works best for you. There are massive benefits in setting aside some focus time during your day. I like to start my focus time at around 7 p.m. It's when I've just had my dinner, I'm done with all of my after school classes, and I'm ready to settle in and do some work. In the beginning, I didn't really have a schedule, and I just did my homework whenever I had time. But then, there were always interruptions. After school activities, my favorite show, and even dinner time. And every day would be different. It was quite disorganized, and I ended up not finishing some of my work on time. At times, I had to stay up until really late, and of course, I won't have enough sleep. This would go on for days. Unfortunately, it affected my grades, my schedule, and even my overall mood. Nowadays, I make sure I am more organized with my time, and I make sure my family member knows that it is my study time, so they respect that time as well. The time that you choose as your focus time is up to you, of course, but setting up this appointment with yourself will help you be more committed. Consistency breeds success, so organize your calendar well, pencil in your reading time, study time, and yes, even play time, and stick to it. Where you can study can have a massive impact on how you study. As comfortable as it might be, laying in bed or lounging on your sofa will not help you do better, quicker, and more effective work. You need a flat surface with a suitable height and a comfortable ergonomic chair. Now, let's tidy it up a bit. This means no dirty plates from this afternoon's lunch, no magazines or even books to distract you, and more importantly, no mobile devices to tempt you. Have exactly what you need to get the work done. Books, stationery, the computer if you're using it, and here's a good suggestion, drinks and a snack. I don't know about you, but I can't stay focused when I'm hungry. So having water or juice and some healthy snacks like nuts or fruits keeps me satisfied for a longer time. It also keeps me from getting up often and running the risk of being distracted and interrupted. Organizing a workspace might take an extra five minutes at the beginning, but will save you so much time during the process. Remember, clutter competes for attention, so make your space neat and tidy. Very few of us have dedicated spaces in our homes where we can shut out the outside world and focus. Most of us have shared spaces. We have siblings playing in the background, mom may be in the kitchen cooking, dad may be watching the news on TV. Life goes on and we can't stop that, but we can control our immediate environment. We can control what we are listening to. Ever since I came across this app that plays ambient sounds, 
I found I can block out all the distracting noises and really focus on my work. I especially like to listen to the sounds of nature, the thuzing drizzle of rain, the crackling sounds of a campfire, and the soft tripping of a bird song are all excellent ways of shutting off the outside world and focus on the task at hand. There are lots of good options where you can find a huge selection of these kinds of sounds. It's worth experimenting to figure out which ones works for you personally. Some people may find it hard to concentrate during complete silence. Some others may find it challenging to focus while the music is on. It's just a matter of choice. But studies have shown that certain types of music, especially classical music, can engage parts of your brain that help you pay attention and retain information. And of course, listening to music may improve your mood and change your whole outlook about studying in general. So plug in your headphones, disconnect from surroundings, and connect to your focus zone. And there you have it. Set up a routine, organize your workspace, and get in the mood with music. Three small but very effective ways to get you in the habit of being more efficient and studying in less time. Up to two years ago, I used to spend more than three hours doing my schoolwork. I worked at all hours, I wasn't organized, and got easily distracted and often interrupted. But by slowly and surely following these strategies, I find that I don't need more than one hour to complete all my assignments. That's something I'm proud to accomplish and would like to share with you today. But I'm not here to convince you that Every minute I spend studying is full of fun and laughter, and that there's nothing else I'd rather do with that time. No, I'm also human and still a kid too. But we have to do it, no matter what. We just have to make the best of the situation and find ways to improve on it. So it's important that we develop these skills because it will benefit us for life. Some of us will truly never enjoy studying, and that's okay. But when you follow these strategies and put some work into scheduling your time to be more effective, it means you can spend less time studying, less time staring at a blank page, and less time worrying about the book you haven't opened yet. And when you spend less time doing all that, it means you get to spend so much more time doing the things that you do enjoy more time for friends, more time for games and laughter, and more time to just live your life. Effective learning starts with the right attitude and a good strategy. Indeed, it can transform studying from a punishment to an opportunity to learn. So let's set ourselves up for success.